these days I've been sleeping almost at around midnight trying to answer. I, I answer questions from everybody who, who writes me. People get my number. I said, what are we doing here? I was in a one of them I forwarded a, a, a message from another very big powerful university which had postponed graduation two times and where my, my, my daughter attended and to get you in a transcript, you take you in a month for me, a month. A year, who are you not working? A Conclusion. Once again, I thank you, our dear guest of honor, for honoring our invitation, our esteemed graduates. Congratulations once again. Be good innovator, innovative entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs who will always seize the opportunities that will always come your way. Leaders who create new opportunities for tomorrow and grow always. May the good Lord richly bless you all. Our God reigns. We take this opportunity to welcome uh, our guest of honor to address you. Thank you very much. But the, the person I asked is not very Christian. I 
as you know, um, is waiting the luggage today. Julie, is it Julie? Yes, yes, yes. They don't really understand our, our love for Christ. So this gentleman told me that I know you what you're thinking, but his opinion was education, education, education. He told me that four grandfathers before him were educated. He said that changed everything for our family. But please note, this is the situation for most of the population of Israel. So that changed for the whole nation. So you, our graduates today, have started that journey. You might be the first person in your family to have a, uh, a degree, or you might be a second, or I don't know, whatever it is. But you have a responsibility to build your nation, you have a responsibility to pass this on to generations after you. So that maybe three, four decades down the line, we might be somewhere closer to Israel. Another thing that I implore young people to have, today I happen to have the opportunity to employ some people. While it is very important to have an education, it is extremely important to have integrity. I can teach you how to run my machines. I can teach you how to put data entry, but I can't teach you how to be honest. I cannot teach you how to have integrity. But I want you to know that for the many people that we have employed, for some of us who are in the business sector of life, I'd much rather have a person who's trustworthy, who is honest, and I will teach them what I want them to do. So for those of you that are going out into the workspace, you will quickly earn the respect, the trust of your employer. And those of you that are going to go out and employ people, you're going to see how valuable it is to have employees who are trustworthy. So I implore you, and I'm very sure that at Bishop Stewart University, these principles have been repeatedly inculcated or taught to you. So do take them seriously and uh, make sure you practice them in your work life. Um, another thing that I thought that is important, because I, I don't know, to do, I've had the different degrees that are going to be um, conferred on people today. I'd like to encourage you not to be afraid to fail and to ask. I can assure you, every professor here, every dean, everybody in this room has had failure at some point. But the secret is not to remain a failure. Get up, try again. You will eventually make it. So, today you have degrees, but all of you know you are not born with this degree. You have to work at it. Maybe you failed a course or two. Maybe you didn't get the marks you expected. But if you stay there, then you become a failure. If you get up and try again, you will end up with success. Um, as I end my remarks, I'd like to encourage you, all in your different capacities, to always do the right thing. It's not easy. You will be tempted. People will be watching you, others will watch you. But do the right thing. It pays off eventually. And when you do the right thing, especially when people are not watching, especially when it's a habit that you have created on your own, you will um, get the success of it and it will be noticed. Be excellent in everything that you do. Do the right thing. Finally, always try to be of service to fellow humankind. I was especially touched by the university who gave uh, a Bible to people who are less fortunate than us, than others who have all their faculties. And I think that if we always extend a hand to somebody else, there is true success and satisfaction in that. I'd like to finally thank the university for achieving their mission. Thank you for being creative, innovative.
which paves the way for exploring sources for employment for our students and fellow citizens. And as a child, we were always told, oh, you're the leaders of tomorrow. I just used to think it was a big joke because I didn't say leadership in myself. But as you grow older, you realize that you truly are a leader in whatever circumstance you are in life. So as leaders, I thank you for this wonderful um, event. I pray that you do go out into the world and be good representatives of your university, of your family, and of yourself. I'm a Christian, so I'm God reign for God and my country. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, the Council of the State of Israel to Uganda. Please, I want to invite you again to celebrate this speech and give her my thank you. Now, without any further ado, we allow to invite the AR to come and take us to another level as we give gifts to those who performed well. This we will not miss any minute from now. After ARA's work, then the Chancellor will take us on as he confers degrees and affirms at our diploma in the West Nanam Tenijo, the Shababa Nabani, who fathers of the war, of what we are now, our young women, 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 our young with the pressure for a chance of sun, I am pleased to present to you the outstanding graduates on this 16th graduation who have fulfilled the requirements as set out by the University Senate and as approved by the University Council to be awarded accolades after attaining the first class with a cumulative GPA ranging from 4.40 to 5.0. Chancellor Sir, this is based on Article 31 of the Gazette BSU Academic Policy on the basis of academic excellency observable ethics, integrity, and professionalism. Chancellor Sir, I take this great opportunity to present to you these distinguished graduates. As I read your name, you will come forward and I request Chancellor Gaitrich that you come forward and you award each of these their respective abodies. Kosingura Caroline, this emerged the, the, the ever best, the first ever best. Well, there she is. Okay. Okay, I will you all come here, then you will be uh, get your food as you are given by the Chancellor. Two, a Trizikile Honest, Bachelor of Education Primary, 4.65. Asimwe Gentis, Bachelor of Education Secondary, 4.61. Tumihaiwe Aulia. Bachelor's Office Manager and Secretary of Studies, 4.57. Burundi Fatia, Bachelor's Office Manager and Secretary of Studies, 
Musimi enter after Fla. Bachelor of Education Secondary, 4.54. Nadkunda Alemu, Bachelor of Science with Education, 4.54. Akwele Bile Amonu, Bachelor of Arts in Siyoge, 4.53. Tukume Bosco, Bachelor of Education Secondary, 4.52. Akunda Maureen, Bachelor of Science in Agro. Agricultural Economics and Natural Resource Management, 4.50. Mohamuzi Efrakas, Bachelor of Social Work and Social Administration, 4.46. Tunamiche Boaz, Bachelor of Arts in Theology, 4.45. Atwesti Amoni, Bachelor of Education Primary, Paul von Bauda, Bachelor of Education Secondary, 4.42. Pindaba Antidocus, Bachelor of Science in the Public, Bachelor of Science in Public Health, 4.42. Kembaba Zimusi, Bachelor of Education Primary, 4.40. and the whole table and the chair council. I request that you come and you award these distinguished ladies and gentlemen their respective awards. In the interest of the health issues, the gifts are going to be given to them and take a photo with them alone, but the Chancellor and the, the guest of honor requested to take a photo for the ladies alone and the gents alone, so the numbers are not many. So how do the gifts to no longer give gifts? The guest of honor and the bishop, who the Chancellor can hand over gifts. <laughs> The gifts are being handed over with a local organization and with the word of God, the Bible, which is inside.